Time now for sport, and there's a welcome return to the boxing ring for Anthony Crawler. David, it'll be good to see him back. Yes, it will. I'm sure it'll be an emotional evening for the Manchester boxer. He'll have to keep those emotions in check, though, as he'll be challenging for a world title. A warning, these shots contain some flash photography. While well, the 28-year-old faces the reigning WBA lightweight world champion Darlis Perez, the Colombian may have the belt, but Crawler will have the crowd on his side when the pair meet at the Manchester Arena tomorrow night. Well, if he wins the title, it will go down as one of the most remarkable boxing stories ever. Just seven months ago, his career looked to be over when he was attacked and seriously injured while trying to catch burglars. Mike Hall has paid a visit to Anthony at his home in Chatterton to reflect on his incredible fight back. This is where I saw the burglars across the road. I started chasing him down the street and I've, I've caught up with him. Anthony Crawler retraces his steps, seven months on from an act of heroism that almost cost him his life. Do you remember much about what happened after that? Yeah, I can remember everything clear as day. It was Christmas time and he was in pursuit of burglars who targeted a neighbour's home. I'd caught up with them and once I cornered them and I was going to have to walk one of them back on the, um, on the blind side of me, that's where the concrete slab come over me head and that's where I suffered the injuries. Just a few weeks away from his first ever world title fight, Anthony was left with a fractured skull a broken ankle and a shattered dream. In my head, as I was stumbling back down here, I was honestly thinking, I was, I was rearranging my training schedule, so that boxing was like the first thing on my mind. You didn't realise the severity no, of your injuries? I didn't, didn't realise until I sort of got in and then obviously went to the hospital. His attackers have never been caught. Back in March, we were with Anthony as he was cleared to box yeah, again. Good news, good news. Good news. Good news. Good news. It's been a long road back, but tomorrow night he finally gets that world title shot against WBA world lightweight champion Darlis Perez at Manchester Arena. Once got offered the chance, it took me all of two, three seconds to decide the answer. I know more than most how quick, how easily the world title shots can come and go. I honestly believe I'm in the best shape of my life, physically and mentally. So I believe some things are meant to be and I really believe that's what it is on July the 18th. Anthony's story has transcended boxing. The Manchester United fan has received gifts from Wayne Rooney and phone calls from Sir Alex Ferguson, though his biggest supporter has been with him every step of the way. You must be so proud of how far he's come. It just felt like it was the end of the world. I just didn't, I didn't think that he'd, he'd um, be where he is now. It'd be unbelievable because I know this is what he's dreamt of since he's been a little boy, and it'll just be the world to not just for us as a family, but to Anthony himself. On the arena on the night, I'm going to have so many people there who are no person we have knew for years. Like my old teachers are there, the surgeons. Well, say my career to be there. It's, um, they'll be special, it'll be very special to me and um, it genuinely is a chance to make a dream come true so I'm, I'm very lucky to have this chance and I prepared the best I possibly can to give myself the best possible chance of making it come true. I really believe I will do. It's a real life Rocky story that now just needs a perfect ending. There'll be few more popular victories in a British boxing ring. Mike Hall, ITV News, Chatterton. A lot of the focus is rightly on Anthony, but there is a packed lineup full of local talent who will also be in action in the ring tomorrow. Barry Scott Quigg will be defending his WBA super bantamweight title against former world champion Kiko Martinez in what could be one of the most memorable boxing nights in Manchester's history. This is the biggest night of boxing of Manchester fighters since uh, Ricky Atten Costa Zoo. So this is the biggest boxing event in Manchester where two Manchester lads are headlining two world titles and it's, again, you'll see by the turnout and the support we receive on the night.